Local coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Sports coverage you can count on. Well, it's certainly not often that we honor a middle school squad as Team of the Week. Norwell Middle School, that could be the exception that proves the rule, because all four of their teams, we're talking 7th and 8th grade, boys and girls, all those teams made it to their conference championship games. We're proud to honor the Norwell Middle School basketball program as your Optimum Performance Sports Team of the Week. Hi, I'm Ron Howard with Optimum Performance Sports. OPS is proud to honor the athletes and coaches of this week's Team of the Week. Congratulations and best of luck the rest of the season. Well, we don't do this often, but we're down at Norwell Middle School. All four teams, 7th and 8th grade, boys and girls, they made it all the way to the conference champions. And as you can see, we got a lot of players here behind me. So I'm going to interview one player from each team, joined now by Cohen. What was it like to clinch the conference championship for that Crusaders team? <laughs> Fun. <laughs> <laughs> what did it take in that conference championship? Hard, hard work. Let's switch it on over to the girls now. Annabelle, obviously you guys made it all the conference championship. What was the funnest part of this season for you? Um, playing as a team, I guess. What kind of team is this? Fun, enjoyable. Let's flip it over here. Joined by Luke now. Uh, obviously, eighth grade, you're going into the high school next year. So what's it about this team? How much chemistry does this team have? Um, we're, we're really good, and we got a lot of potential, and we have a lot of, and, we, and we're really together as a team. Right, my man. Let's move on over. Jumping over to Addy. Same question for you. What You guys are going on to high school soon. What's it going to be like there and what kind of impact do you want to make on the high school level? I think it's going to be challenging, but I think if we just continue to work together as a team, we'll get there. With all 7th and 8th grade girls and boys, well, we're going to get everybody involved. We're going to play a little bit of knockout. So here we go. I'm going to lead them off. All right, good luck trying to knock me out. Here we go. Free throw line. Here you go. Oh, f flush. Here we go. Uh oh, free throw line. Oh, he's out. He's out. Oh, yeah, swish. We'll keep going. This is going to be a long game. That's okay, though. In Uggs. In Uggs and all. Oh, she gets the roll. She gets the roll in Uggs. This could be a long game. I don't know Team of the Week is long enough for this game. But we're just going to keep going until somebody's the winner. Oh, racing! Gone. He gone. Oh. We're down to like the final 10. Oh, gone. He's gone. Eliminated. Here we go. Final three. Clutch free throws. Oh, she's shooting it well. That's solid. Uh-oh, another make. Another make. Uh-oh, off rim. Oh, down to the final two. Oh, man. Oh, man, the final two. The final two. Yes. Woo! Woo! Yes, sir. Uh, it takes a while to knock them all out when you're playing that game and they can all shoot the basketball. Hey, that'll do it for sports. I'm Glenn Marini, and we're back in two minutes.